Hi you guys, welcome to Word to Hannah, welcome back to returning. So I took a break, smacking on my mango, because I keep getting uh, this channeling that I have to, like I can't shake it. So somebody does something, I heard mind manipulation and I also heard Jedi mind tricks, but somebody has some sort of a gift that has to do with the mind that is in close proximity to you so it may not be somebody who is specifically in your circle per se but it's somebody that you have that you're that you have to be within close proximity to and this may be a space that you're supposed to be in this person doesn't want you to be in that space so they use illusions some other some of them use illusions some of the people that are around you may use chaos or conflict spells or confusion spells and or confusion spells and then there's one person in particular who does something to borderline make somebody say something that they wouldn't ordinarily say. It's similar to it to the channeling that I received yesterday where I talked about how Gede spirits will jump from one person to another. Similar to that movie The Fallen. It's not The Fallen, um, but I'm black, so everything is the, the target, The Fallen. So, um, no, but the fallen that's that's the dude from um the third transformers um but the movie i'm actually speaking of is just fallen not the and it's denzel washington is um uh, i want to say my man from uh roseanne is in it i know his name i can see him clear as day i just don't remember what it is um but the dad from roseanne um is in there and it talks about how the spirit will go from person to person to person by way of touch. Somebody can do that, but without touching the person. It might be a chant, an incantation, or it is the... Um, I heard demarcation, and I heard something about... Something emulsification, something like that. It's something that has to do with the darker elements of what was supposed to be used as a spiritual gift. Um with the intention of creating positive outcomes not having negative influence somebody does that to try and make you feel like you're not welcome where you're supposed to be so that you'll leave and it's one of those situations similar to the movie fallen where when the spirit leaves the person the host that person doesn't remember anything that they did so if you remember Denzel's character had, had kept trying to like crack the code basically and his brother wound up getting um I don't want to spoil, spoil the movie if you haven't seen it but you should definitely watch it but his brother his nephew his boss his colleague strangers everybody that was around his character was touched by the spirit and once the spirit moved on to the next person the nephew, the brother, the colleague, the boss, the strangers had no knowledge of anything they did or said when the spirit was on them. There is somebody in your midst who does something similar to that. And let me tell you, this egotistical might be a low-key narc. If you were noticing that without Googling narcs and their propensity for being all of their variety of a smorgasbord, if you will, of bullshit... If you find that you just get in bombarded with information about narcs, you gonna need to play a couple of them videos, read the article, whatever, whatever, because it's gonna give you some sort of solace as far as what it is that you're experiencing. Because let me tell you, it is very, very challenging to manage a narc without any kind of influence to help guide you as far as how to manage it. Um, the other thing is that um, when it comes to the situation, there is somebody who is, um, this person may be somebody that you know, so they may be trying to make you feel like everybody thinks this about you or everybody thinks that about you. No, they don't. That's an illusion. That's bullshit. Okay. Did those people tell you that? Do those people normally act like that? Do, do whatever it may be. Has that person on a regular basis ever actually communicated directly or indirectly that what 
they're trying to get you to believe is actually true. If that's not the case, it is quite literally a figment of that asshole's imagination. It is something that they want you to feel because what I found, especially when it comes to anybody who's experiencing spiritual WAR fair, is that people will try to make you feel like you are in a pr prison of their opinion of you. So they want to use every tool possible especially because it's the WAR fair that you know there's so spiritual elements about it that if you're not in a position where you have support and you have anybody who is validating your human experience that is really a spiritual experience and you just wearing a human a human skin suit you're going to feel like like it's you and it's not and somebody who wants you to feel like it's you especially if you're there to bring some sort of a positive change to the space or if you're just dealing with a narc and you done piss them off they're gonna try everything that they can to make it seem like it's you um and that's the purpose is to drive out the light so that the darkness can continue and you are gonna need to find you somebody in real life or virtually who is going to validate the experiences that it is that you're having so you don't jump out the window with it and wind up giving the narcs any demonic or dark energies quite literally exactly what it is that they're looking for by removing yourself from a space that you are meant to be in just because some people don't want you to be there does not mean that you're not meant to be there and a narc is not somebody who's even gripped enough in reality to have an opinion about anything anyway because they can't even see themselves from a real standpoint to even begin to have an opinion about anybody else because they would need to be tapped into reality first and a narc's entire like the whole theme song is some outer space shit not not really outer space though because i imagine outer space to be beautiful a narc can't have outer space um they can have the bog of incurable stench from the movie labyrinth that's what they can have like their whole reality is boo boo their whole reality is not real okay because they won't even deal with themselves they quite literally will just sick their personal issues on everybody that they're around and everybody else has to go and try to contain their personal issues because they don't want to do it themselves because that would mean shattering an illusion that they created and a narc is all about an illusion so you're going to need to find people find sources of information find validation by way of getting getting in touch with somebody who is going to speak to your experiences so that you know that you're not in this by yourself and you definitely ain't tripping none because these motherfuckers is motherfucking